Hey, so let's talk about what we have coming up. Uh, well, we as students, we have to really be prepared for the next coming uh, weekend. Um, we have to very, be very determined and have re like really good work ethic, um, making sure that we get everything done on time, making sure the whole team is informed about everything, make sure everybody's really focused and having fun. It is going to be stressful for the students, for us, and but that's good. People want to be stressed, so because when you're stressed, you usually work better and faster. Okay, and then what's the, what's the calendar look like? Well, this weekend we have the high school and middle school competitions, uh, which are the last ones before the alliance round, and that means that we this is our last chance to boost our ranks up by any means possible to increase our chances in the alliance phase. Uh, after this weekend, we have. Uh, Google competition next weekend, which is the middle schoolers will go down the hill on a bus, and not down the hill, up the hill again, and they'll drive for six hours on a bus, they'll get there, uh, stay in a hotel, uh, compete against other people from all around the state to compete in, at the Google Plex place. After that, we have, on January 28th, is the first Skills USA competition, which will be the Skills division, uh, anything ranging from mobile robotics, uh, culinary, CPR, anything like that. Uh, our teams will be competing in things like mobile robotics and EMR specifically, those two. There's a lot of training that goes into that. We have to prepare for our competitions for uh, quite a few weeks beforehand. We're we'll probably going to start right after this week, uh, making sure that we have all of our stuff down pat. We are good with our robots. We have them well built. We know what we're doing in CPR techniques wise. On February 4th is the next skills division, which is leadership, anything with writing, having to do with speeches, mm -hmm. job demonstration open, job demonstration A, um, extemporaneous speaking, 20 second elevator, anything like that. And that, that training has probably already take, take, uh, started with whoever's in that competition. Okay. So anyone who's in there has already started writing, has already started practicing what they need to say, how they should say it, things like that. After those, I believe right after that weekend is the uh, final competition, which is the alliance round for high school and middle school divisions, or maybe they are tandem weekends, but I believe okay. they're on the same one. And that is where, uh, depending on whatever rank your team is placed in, you will pick a team to be on your alliance and another team, so teams of three alliances, and basically you want to have the highest place that you can going into that day so that you can have first pick out of all teams that are there. So say there's a really good team that's just below you in the rankings, you would be able to pick them as your teammate and no one could take it from you. And that just increases your chances of winning the overall thing. Okay, now here's my question. What, uh, how important is it for everyone to understand and be on the same page going into the next six weeks? What could that mean? Well, it's extremely important um, to a team because if not everybody's on the same page, um, if you're not working together, if you're not doing the same plan, then it really tears away the team and it doesn't, nothing gets done, nothing gets accomplished. Right. But once you get everybody on the same page and everybody on the same agenda, then things get accomplished way easier and more efficient. You think it's similar to like a job setting and in terms of uh, achieving goals and setting? Oh, definitely. Okay. Um, in a job setting, of course, you're going to work on a team. You're going to work with other people. Mm -hmm. um, you're not going to be by yourself. You're going to have a boss or mm -hmm. you're going to have other employees with you. Good. And you yep. have to work it as a team to accomplish your goal. Yeah, I agree. Good. Um, after all of this, what do you guys hope happens? I hope we win. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if right. we win this uh, alliance phase of this regional competition, we can pass on to state, which my team did a few years ago, but I would like a chance to get further in that than I did. Okay. But I believe this year would be the year that we could. Okay. We've been in it longer now. We know what we're doing better now. Cool. Uh, other than that, I hope that all our teams do well at Skills USA. You know, yeah. Get to experience the state competition. I've always had the most fun every year at the state competition, and I... I hope that all the middle schoolers and high schoolers who are new to skills this year get to experience that. Cool. All right. Thanks, guys. As the kids said, January presents a pretty busy time for us. We have seven weeks of nonstop competition, and the hardest part is trying to maintain not only their focus, but uh, educationally their schoolwork. Uh, we try to get things done ahead of time so that way they have more time to spend on the stuff they love doing.
the cool thing is it makes it easy when they know that everything is right in front of them. They just have to push and work extremely hard in order to attain any type of success they want. And in the past that they've seen, they know if they work hard, the success will be attained, not just given, but as a result of their hard work, they'll achieve success. And I think that's what drives them each and every time we get to this point. The stress is there, the anxiety is there, but they know at the, at the end, in April, they could be right where they wanna be. And that's important not only to me, but to them, for them to see that. And uh, I just like being a part of it, watching them succeed and watching them uh, strive for greatness. It makes me want to strive for that.